Uh, we're going to turn the cameras on over here and do jury more. So uh, I'll probably just leave the stream on. Let's put on some music. Where, what kind of music should I play? Oh, I mean, should I turn off the butt or leave the butt going? Uh, yeah, DJ12 says only $91 until the next Patreon goal, and that's the that's a huge milestone. I think, you know, that was what I, I looked at and said, like, man, I'll tell you what, it'd be really nice. It was like an upper echelon kind of thing if we could get to 500 an episode. Uh, and I think I might revise the, uh, the, the, the goal. I think we might, we might knock it down. We might have to go to, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I want to go to two episodes a week at five, but I'm not sure. Maybe because I want to keep that for a thousand. Like I think a thousand really means that like this is like a full time job. Um, but yeah, no, thank you everybody. Uh, and and listen, ninety one dollars is a lot, you know. But fuck, so is four hundred. So. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so we'll set up for jury more. Let's get a little, let's get some music that isn't so fucking aggressive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe some double clicks. They Metrodon, that's yeah, that's their new one. I'm giving up on certain things like bicycles and gardening and walking to the grocery store. Because the rain has started in my city, and though the greenery is pretty, it's not enough to get me out the door. Tis the season now of gray and brown, of giving up and sitting down and layering and woolly socks. I'm celebrating solitude and eating soup instead of food and never walking more than seven blocks. Cause I've got cats and I've got Netflix. I've got games and I've got snack mix. And I am gonna stay indoors for four or five months. Christmas flights and procrastinate Halloween And as a consolation prize For heavy clouds that fill the skies There's pumpkin spice in everything Every morning it gets darker out I'm gonna wear these markers out With all these lists of things I'll never do And when my motivation's gone I'll order snacks from Amazon And try to knit a scarf for you Cause I've got cats and I've got Netflix, I've got games, and I've got snack mix, and I am gonna stay indoors for four or five months or more. We've got Netflix, we've got games, and we've got snack mix, and we are gonna stay indoors for four or five months or more. We've got cats, and we've got Netflix, we've got games, and we've got snack mix, and we are gonna stay indoors for four or five months or more. Y and you have been for 
for years Held in one spot by your justified fears You have some wisdom
my darkest thoughts have got a hold on me I close my eyes and I remember all their giant teeth To shake off all the problems I have piled on I picture the sailbacked giants of Dimetrodon to the party. You don't like people and you don't want to go, but your friends are here and you forgot to say no. So put on mascara so you look awake. Try to be social till you need a break. There is no reason this shouldn't be fun. There's excitement. Check. This is me. T <clears throat> this is me talking, 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 talking. Trying to stay away from the mic this time so I don't eat it. Um, this is this a little far? Do I need yeah. to move up? Yeah. Well, no. I can make it hotter. Check, check, check. <coughs> All right. So we both need to get a little bit hotter. This is what I did last time. This is the beauty of this mic stand. All right, you go ahead. Uh, so this is me talking stuff and things, butts and butts and vaginas, vagina planes, um, talking, talking. This is me okay. talking. Check, check, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. A scooch. 
Just a scooch. All right, cool. We're still alive, right? Yep. Where did you go? You left today without a trace. And I know because I checked. So if you're wondering, it's just because I missed you so. That's your bedroom. Where's mine? My, my one. You make me feel so fine. I needs it all of the time. Uh. I like how that works, guys. I can just say, give me wine, and wine comes. Welcome to my misandry. <laughs> Why, thank you, my feeble beta. <laughs> You're mean. I know. I'm going to stop being cowed by your misandry. Mm, you I am the queen of misandry. <laughs> You're... Okay. Hey, everybody. Have you heard the news? We got a show called Jury Moore, and it is the blues. So I just all right, yeah. So I'm gonna eat this mic. So am I still am I still doing pretty well? Yeah, just just take a look at your your waveforms. Well, I need to like face right, so I can talk this way, but then I'm nowhere. But if I talk this way, how am I? Because I need to be facing you pretty yeah. much the entire time. So you can time. get a little bit closer. I'm afraid after last time, but then again, I was like yelling into the mic last time yeah. too. So no, just talk, talk, stuff, things, penis, vagina, butthole. Thank you for bringing the class. I, I, I got two things for you, tits and class. It's actually three things. <laughs> I, not, I never was good at counting. All right. <clears throat> All right. Time right. jumper, I hope you've got your headphones in for this one today, too. Um, or are the kids not home? Merp. Merp this one out a little bit. Okay, cool. So silent. Um. Are you ready? I just want to remind you, uh, yeah. you should click the... Are you in the chat? I can be. Um, well, here, I'll save this link. Uh, you are getting hassled for not registering for the Diamond Club Hearthstone registry. So I've saved it. We can talk about this it's... during the show because this is going to be a Hearthstone heavy show. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a reason why. I haven't done it by accident. I haven't not done it by accident. Is that a thing to say? Uh, all right, all right. Well, let's rock. Hello, everyone. 
everybody, and welcome back to the Jury Moore Podcast, the podcast where we're getting married. We are. That's a fact. Uh, no one's uh, denying it anymore. Nope. It's there was going a period to in happen. Which one or both of us were denying that we were getting married. We've thankfully gotten past that that ugly. Wait, period. Wh- what part was the denial part? Was that that was all on your end, right? I don't think we, no. either of us really <laughs> went through any kind of like trauma with the marriage. It was the when, right? That's... Oh yeah, no. Wait, hold on. I'm just remembering all the trauma. I buried it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Wait. Yeah. There was that point where. You here's said, a little here's a little pro tip, gentlemen. You can't like have marriage talks without getting married. Like talking about marriage either ends in trauma or marriage. Okay. Right? All right. Hold up. Like cuz either when you talk about marriage and you break up and then it's like and we were talking about marriage or you get married. And nine happy times, right? But it is it is a it is like its own stake. Right? I mean, hold up a minute. Hold it wasn't up. it wasn't Dang. just like a we're talking about marriage. Marriage might happen in the future. Yeah. Uh I had moved out here. I think I'm pretty sure we had this conversation after I moved out. Yes. Um No, we never talked about marriage in, until I, I was out. moved yeah. out. And we realized that, you know, we could tolerate each other. Yeah. But we were smart. We had a conversation where it was like realistically becoming a thing. Yeah. And it was a matter of when. It was like, well, if we're going to get married, when would you like to do it? And we had talked tentatively Mm -hmm. about doing it in 2016. And we had talked enough about doing it around. Let's do it. 2016. 15. Sorry. Fuck. But I'd be able to still get a year out of this. No. No. No? Too late. After we send out the invitations, it's, it's already late. We're already getting invites or, you know, RSVPs back. So we set a day. Yeah. We set a year. Well, we talked about And I told you, I'm like, if we're going to do that, that's great. But I need at least a year to plan. I know. And then I didn't because I didn't think you needed a year and you don't. Shots it's a good thing fired. I was Shots started planning fired. it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been planning it almost as long as Dragon Con. I needed Wait, can I get 11 that and again? a half months. Can I get months. that laugh again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, Tropics or Nishcom? One of, the, one of the beat makers. I need you guys to make a beat and throw Ashley's like condescending laugh on top of it. That's the best. <laughs> Oh, I no, you're right. You. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, but but there was that was the only trauma we had was was yeah. you waiting on no, but seriously, is this wedding happening this year? If not, that's fine. But I need to know because I need, need to plan. To know. I need to know. Which is why we were planning before the ring. Because I need to know. It's link Enrique Iglesias for everybody because I know that's what people have been asking more of. Uh, all right, so. We, we don't really have a whole lot of wedding updates. The updates are that we need to update. Oh, wait, hold on. Update. update. There are have, no updates. Yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> um, All right, ending. Uh, wait. No updates. <laughs> Except did you uh, do what you said you were going to do last week with the Navy suits and send an email to everybody else? Navy SEALs? No, I didn't. Ah. But last, our, our episode last time was, was late, so I still have a week based on our last conversation. Because we didn't do our, our episode on Sunday. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You better be ready for next week. I will. Because I'm bringing it up. Good. Uh, but yeah, By the way, no this updates. is the reason why we're doing the podcast, so Ashley can publicly hold me accountable <laughs> for things she asked me to do. Yeah, it's the, it's the only way it might get done. You know, there's only 187 days until Dragon Con? Jesus Christ. Does that make you nervous? Or yes. Or does it make you feel like we have a lot of time? That makes me really nervous, actually. Oh, dude, you can plan an empire in 187 oh, days. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can. Yeah. 
It's not like you're going to do it. No. (laughs) Have have you picked up on that yet? (laughs) Table flip. I'm an absentee group. (laughs) No, I've been on the road. So, I mean, I'm not going to be on the road a lot in... Well, actually, it's like, I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. And then I'm on the road for South By. When are past that. When are we going to have time to actually plan our wedding? Oh, and then I go to Portland. I am going to put placeholders on your fucking calendar. Yeah, okay. And uh, make you hold to them because... That's fine. Listen, all I ever want is for somebody to schedule for me. I'm very good at following schedules. You want to hire me? I'm just not good at scheduling. Well, the last time that... Can I be your manager? The last time that we talked about uh, you you getting a cut of money... Sunglasses... Like no, you, like for real. Like I quit my job and I be your manager. Then I'll I'll do your invoices and I'll follow you around and I'll just, just be on the phone all the time, kind like of part of looking my manager. for you. Like now, while you still keep your job. Because I have enough shit to do. Because it would just be me making you do more shit for me. Yeah. Mm. Like your dishes. If you don't like that, picking then up why your are shoes. You marrying me? It should be very clear to you right now that you're marrying a thirteen-year-old. All I do is watch wrestling and go to sleep and take poops. Like, that's literally what you're marrying. It's a big bundle of 13-year-old boy. You guys, I've made a terrible mistake. (laughs) All right, so no updates on the wedding itself. But speaking of being a 13-year-old, we do have one major topic that has dominated our relationship for the past month, right? Month and a half? Yeah. the wedding's off, guys. What? Everyone's been looking so forward I to it. I know. Oh, no. no. Why is it canceled, though? Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Oh, my God. So, remember how we were having a conversation? Hey, boy, look who it is. Welcome in. It's cold out there, but it's warm in here. Pull up a chair by the fire. Um, There's a thin line between my Hearthstone bartender voice and Cheech Marin. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we... Hey, man, come on in. Pull up a chair to the fire, man. <laughs> so we had talked about how... I was upset that we didn't, not upset, but like we didn't have a lot of like common things to share. Like you're not going to pick up knitting. You're not going to come rock climbing with me. No. And like video games has always been something like I've super enjoyed and I've tried to get you into like Minecraft. Yeah. Which you played once. I did. And never played again. Never. Chat Realm even made you a little Minecraft guy that looked like you. Yep. Nothing. And you gave them the finger. Double middle fingers. Double middle fingers. And I've never been able to get you to play video games with me. And so yeah. I was really excited when you took a liking to Hearthstone. So was it me? Did I get into it first? Or did you? So, I feel like it happened at around the exact same time that we both got into it. It was around the same time. But the thing that pushed me over the edge to do it was because Brian had convinced you to get it, I think. Because well, Brian, Brian was very obsessed with it. And then I can't remember why I started playing it, but I think I, think I was just we bored. both. I think we both downloaded it without telling each other. Oh. And my friend Lisa, who's one of my bridesmaids, yeah, um, she's big into it. And another friend of mine, um, Eric, Who? is really into it. Who's you, Eric? You don't know Eric. He lives in D.C. He's really? a YouTube person. A, a, a D.C. YouTube person? I know. They're into Hearthstone, too? Yeah. Wow. Who knew? I didn't even know they had Hearthstone on the East Coast before that. Huh. You know? It's like, it's a... D.C. Pretty... I'll tell you, he's having a pop in place, man. D.C. Yeah. just legalized weed. Like, he's playing Hearthstone. Yeah. This is a wild time for Eric. I know. All right, so... So, I started playing because of my friends. And yeah. I was really excited, especially since, you know, Brian was talking to you about it. I'm like... A game that Justin and I can play together? Yeah. This is perfect. Uh-huh. And it's only falling apart. Wait, why? Well, we're having a good time. We both like the game. We've both been playing it a fair amount. Uh, I it, It's filled a lot of niches in my life. Like what? Well, what I'm niches? on planes a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, all of United Planes, I think, at this point, have Wi-Fi. So as long as the Wi-Fi is working... 
I can play Hearthstone because uh, air, airline Wi-Fi is generally shit. It's not really good for a lot, but it's perfect for Hearthstone because Hearthstone doesn't. It requires a connection, but does not require much of a connection. It's like very slim. Uh, it's like it's a really well built app <coughs> on the iPad. Though so, you should leave a review for uh, Hearthstone because it makes you lose your iPad on airplanes. Yeah, I started playing Hearthstone and I left. Like there was this was like the first week you started playing pretty it. Pretty much, yeah. And then I left it. Well, because I was a rook. I was I was an iPad rook. Like I very rarely pulled my iPad out of my bag before Hearthstone, and then I started playing it, and I left it. I went to sleep and I left it in the back of the seat. And then I realized it was gone. And then, I don't know. Well, that's a whole other story about how I lost my iPad. And now some, the fucking j that stole it has been using my fucking mobile data. And I can't get on the phone with Verizon. Okay, bad story. All right. But that's a huge thing. Also, uh, there's been this pesky, this thing has been fucking bothering me forever that Hearthstone solves. Sleep. I don't have to do it anymore. I can just play Hearthstone instead of sleeping. It's so good. Before, sleeping was just boring. Now, Hearthstone all the time. Also, people in ranked mode are either drunk or asleep normally, and uh, you get a lot more quitters and like kids who have no idea what they're doing in ranked mode. It's pretty great. Uh huh. Yeah. You know what's well, not everyone else great? Is asleep. What's not great? The person that doesn't fall asleep. <laughs> Would you fall asleep? I hear you Sometimes. snoring. Sometimes. I don't snore. You do. No, I, I don't. No, I cast you as a uh, a two one snorosaurus. No. And you no, just you go, don't. That's your battle cry. No, that's your fucking battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to sleep. Um, so Hearthstone, mom, dad, plug your ears, is ruining our sex life. I feel like this is Oh no. We're this going is, there. All right. Oh, not, yes, we are. I, don't, I, I feel like, I mean, this, like, there's a lot of blame that can go to our sex life. Like, I'm, I'm overstressed. Like, you know, I often uh-huh. find reasons why, uh, you know, I, I just, there's a lot of stuff going on. You shouldn't blame sweet, innocent Hearthstone. Mm. Blame me. I'm bad. Mm. Hearthstone's not, Hearthstone never harmed There fly. was a time. I'm the worst. We had a sex life. We have a sex Before life. Before hey, Hearthstone. Why are you blaming? This is sensationalist yellow journalism. You are slandering the good name of Hearthstone. What? All right, Ow. go ahead. Lay your charges at Hearthstone's uh, completely innocent feet. So, I'd be getting my womanly wiles out. I keep them in my purse. Get my womanly wiles out. And I say, hey, jury. Okay, do we want to really get into what your, wiles what, for what, you. what your womanly wiles are? Because <laughs> they're embarrassing. <laughs> Stop. Oh, 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 I'll be like, hey, womanly wiles. And you'll be like, eh, Hearthstone. Bullshit. You, Bullshit. Uh, we don't have bulls. We have birds. That, bird and, shit. And bird shit is how I would describe that claim. I have never said I would like to play Hearthstone instead of fucking. Here's what often happens. We are, I just get done with something. Because oftentimes, here's the problem. Is that I'm on the road. So I come home. And that often falls during like podcast nights. Like right now. Like tonight. So I either get done doing jury, I get done during jury more, I get done doing night attack, something like that. Uh, and then, like, you'll be like, eh, you'll, like, say something, and I'll, like, go, I'll just lie in bed. I won't take advantage of it, right? And then you'll go to sleep, and you'll be like, I wanted to have sex, but I guess we'll go to sleep. That's what happens. But that's only because you got your fucking ipad out well You're... because i didn't know no, like, dude, me yeah I think, that I think it's time to sleep <clears throat> and so i'll go also if we're gonna really i'm, I'm not gonna go into detail i'm just gonna say that you often have a times for pulling out your womanly wiles right before we're not going to have sex like when you're going to like go to work 
Give me a little something to look forward to when and I I'll get say, home. Like, are we gonna have are we gonna have sex? And you're like, no, I gotta leave. That's happened multiple times. But that's like a little something to look forward to when I when I get home. No, that's a blue balling. Oh come on. That is a blue baller's delight. Mm. That Sounds like is... a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll take the chocolate mousse and the blue ballers delight. <laughs> if you if you went to a fucking nice restaurant in Oakland and saw the blue ballers delight, you would totally get it. That would be two scoops of blue bell vanilla ice cream and uh, cherries jubilee. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, I feel like th- this is not a Hearthstone problem. But then what problem is it? I, Hearthstone does far more for our relationship than it takes Really? Away. What does it do? It gives us something to talk about and bond over. That's all you ever. The, that's all you've ever wanted. That's what we hit the birds for. No, the birds are in order. A a like challenge for us to keep up with and dote on. It is something for us to be silly about, and it is strengthening or satiating, whichever you want to to take it as, whatever nascent we want to take care of life forms muscle right Mm -hmm. that's what the birds are for hearthstones for fun we have a common fun interest you've wanted a common fun interest for a while now we have it but we don't actually play it together either we do uh only when you want to be like oh yeah no we could go to bed but uh Let's just let's just play one game of arena together. I like to wrap up let's... the day with Hearthstone. Now, sometimes, admittedly, it gets out of control, like it did a few nights ago. <laughs> when you're like, "I'm just gonna play one more game," and I said, "Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep," <laughs> and your sorry ass what? was up playing till mm. almost four in the morning. I mean, uh, you how many games it? of arena did you purchase? No, I only purchased, I played the one round of Arena, which I went one and three, and then I went into Ranked, because I was only one away from getting to 19, because I'm that fucking j who's like stuck in the, the fucking 20 sphere, and... You know, you start playing, you lose a game, you switch your character, you start playing, you start winning, and then, like, you know, you, you lose. And then you start to lose. It's like 2.30 in the morning. You lose. Then you're at, like, two stars at 20. And you're at one star. And then you lose again. You're at one star. You're at zero stars at 20. So you switch your character and you lose. And you're like, well, I can't end on a loss. Let me at least get back to one star. For God's sakes, let me at least get back to one star. And then, you know, you keep playing and you play, you play, you play, and that's four o'clock in the morning. And then because you're ashamed of your addiction has spiraled, you would and you admit it to your fiance because you feel like it's gonna make life better. And then it becomes fodder on the podcast. Yeah. That's basically what's happened. Yeah. But that's not normally I've been good since then. I've been good about we play one game of arena together and then I put the iPad away. Though the other night, you're like, We won. And then you're like, you know, we could we could, uh, we could play one more game. Just wanted to see if you were into it, you know. That was <laughs> and me then we using hit the my, button. That was me using my manly wiles to see if you wanted mm. to play another game of Hearthstone. Might have worked for sex. Bullshit. Shit shuts down when you get into mm. the, when you get into the bed. You just almost called it the sled. <laughs> I almost <laughs> it the sled. You shut it. They down. They all know our code now. Yeah, they, can... you they, you shut it down when you're in the sled. Only when I'm already half asleep. Bullshit. As soon as you... You do not get into the sled unless you're half asleep. If I try to initiate sex while we're in the sled, you're like, no, I'm asleep. Okay. I'm asleep. So, That's the thing that happens. You also... Oh, this is going to get too real. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Handle it. All right, let's move on to... Uh, Let's move but, on to email. Wait, hold on. Let's do the email jingle. Email jingle. Email jingle. If 
you would like to email the podcast, go ahead and do so. JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com. That is JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com. First one comes in from Medin. Finally caught up with interested parties. Hearthstone, rock climbing, shared interest for us. It's basically gaming. Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, him watching me sort of play Dark Souls and laughing when I get angry when some douche knuckle invades my game and then watching him play the game to the point that I go, yep, I seriously suck at this. So look, they this is Marin and her boyfriend. They they healthily mm. bond over games. Do you feel like we are unhealthy in our that Hearthstone is a unhealthy element of our relationship? Yes. Why? Right now because it keeps you more than me from doing other things. Whether that be sex, whether that be Emailing your groomsmen and telling them that they need to buy right, this navy you're jacket. Blame everything. I, I I regret asking you. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, Marin goes on. Dork Handle court. it. <laughs> yeah. Get behind me. Ready for action. <laughs> I hope you like my invention. <laughs> uh, dork fork. Uh, which is Marin's nickname for and her boyfriend's name for each other was created pretty much because it's fun to say. Ashley is correct that it's pretty much used like goose. Uh, the husband has explained how dork can be used over in the States. And then I decided to uh, read through the Urban Dictionary. Well, now I see Justin's point. It's always weird when small cultural differences between the uh, between Australia and the U.S. pop up. Well, I'll ignore that I do say stuff like dick fuck while I'm driving around Sydney. People need to learn how to merge properly, Being uh, bring the self-driving car. And she also points out that uh, her grandma used to call her silly goose all the time when she was a kid. She'd also hold up a finger in front of her face and say, you'll laugh at anything, you'll even laugh at my finger, and cue the uncontrollable giggles. My my uh, mom and stuff said silly goose when I was a kid. So did you think it was acceptable when I started saying silly goose all the time? Yeah, because you us goose. <laughs> uh, all right. This is a long one. Yeah, this one is from Anonymous. Anonymous writes with like a whole um, like usage of... of uh... They might have us beat, by the way. Yeah, all right. So, so my, fi- my, my fiance and I, both Diamond Club patrons of many shows, were a few episodes behind and decided to throw our hats into this embarrassing words and phrases bucket. Here are a few of them. Uh, and so he has listed them in three headings of formal, informal, and private. Formal, he writes, uh, these are things that we will say when uh, others are around or in earshot. It's go, pronounced ew. So, goo. I'm Anthony Carboni. Yeah, that's what that he uses the, the pronunciation. Uh, this is heard when any phone call, text, or email, or send a sentence, what is it, my goo? So I guess it's a term of endearment. Changing word to herps, like I love it when you touch my herps. Oh, touch my herps. Maybe that's not what they say. Like <laughs> burrs followed by swag. So originally a night attack joke that they both picked up on. This became even more when she was diagnosed with possible bursitis. And when uh, it became a call and response, her, my burst is flare and herp, and him would say, swag. Informal, uh, said around close friends only, the my dick band songs. Uh, so apparently, like, uh, the Baker dick, my dick, my dick, my dick. And swooning goo, so said like, oh, my goo. Mm-hmm. And then finally, the private only said between each other when it is them and the cats they sing red red wine to each other which we don't sing red red wine and i'm the one who does the fucking voice for red red wine i only sing it when i make you get me wine true so you sing it more than me i do red red wine you make me feel so fine. and then i don't know the rest i stop there my name's Captain Morgan. say no to crime I'm just getting fucking break all the laws. I'm annoying Ashley because I keep saying this song. Uh, and then apparently they replaced the lyrics in every song to Do But. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't rem- I don't know these songs offhand. Uh, do your butt and I'm drowning slowly. Do like your seasons butt and of I'm love. Nowhere. Do your butt and I'm drowning. Oh, okay. So she's a brick. Like. 
do you, but and I'm drowning slowly. And then, wait, do you know this other song? The second one, I think, is Seasons of Love. So sing it. I don't sing it remember with the how it goes. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And many more. These all stem from a time we were living in an expat community in Jamaica for a few months. We were at a pool alone, and I started singing. And then, of course, every morning when I wake up and her name's asleep, I... <laughs> what the fuck? All right, hold on. So at the Wait. end of all this, uh, and I don't know what. So the only one is, is us and the cats. So this is in quotes. It says, every morning when I wake up and her name's asleep, I masturbate on her face and she does not do because I clean up all over the place. Couldn't understand how to work it out with my fingers in her ear, my toe in her butt, and she just laughs away. I think those are lyrics. Because it would be a weird left turn about jerking off on her face and a toe up your butt. Who knows? Don't ever try that. Jerking off on your face while you're asleep and sticking my toe up your butt? Yeah. No. Okay, but if That's... you were to pick between one of the two. <laughs> okay. Which would you... Pre- All right, never mind. Uh, so I think uh, that these are high on the levels of different things that can be uttered around our home. And it, it, they are anonymous and rightly so. Especially if that last part is uh, not a joke. <laughs> Uh, if you would like to email the show, justinrobertyoung at gmail. Got, dot, yeah, beep, dot, doop, take two. Justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Jury more in the subject line. We did forget to uh, mention something a little bit earlier. What's that? Um, which this isn't really part of an update because we had talked about it. But you want to hit the button? Not really an update. <laughs> So uh, we mentioned before that we have an Amazon registry now. Oh, yeah. Like we we had taken the time. It was really frustrating to try and like figure out what the hell to put on it and whatever and all the salsa that's on it. Did we actually talk about that on the I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah. We have 57 jars of salpica salsa. Yeah. Yeah, so... But... Do we have like a... Do we have a bit.ly for it or something? No, they just search our names. So if you go on Amazon... Yeah. And you search... Let me try and do it right now. You search okay. Justin Young and Ashley Paramore. Let me let me do it here on the on the screen behind you us, can... just so everybody can see how easy it is. <laughs> uh, so you just who, go. Who on made over that picture? It's very goose like. Amazon.com. Look at me. I look crazy. Oh wait, there we go. And you search. never mind, guys. You have to go to the registry page first. So what, is it Amazon.com slash registry? I don't know, or like registry.amazon. It's so easy, guys. This is why Even. We the show. So we can show people how easy it is. All right, so just uh, search Amazon registry. We'll come up with Here. a bit.ly for this. Uh, and then you search. So I'll search Ashley Paramore. My, my name is probably going to be easier because there are multiple Justin Youngs, as it turns out. Oh, look, and it says right there. Look, hello, Justin Young. Welcome to your wedding, your wedding registry. I don't think it'll come up like this for them, though. No, because they're not Justin Young. They're they not. They have three things in their card. Uh, so what we'll do a bitly for it. Um, in fact, I'll tell you, we're going to do it right now. You fill, Ashley, and tell everybody uh, how much you love them uh, while we wrap up the show and I come up with a bit. You guys are the best. I love you. You're my favorite. Um, so we put this together and say oh man i can't i can't fill dead air damn it why did you have to do this bitly thing <sighs> so this was a really difficult process just because i have i had no idea like what we should get because generally anything that we would put on a registry we would just buy for ourselves <laughs> you know yeah but but we go through a lot of salsa, so we'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> did you make it? Did you make it? They can just, they can figure it out. They can hold do on, it. Hold on, two seconds. Uh, uh, Bitly.com slash jurymore. There you go. Just that easy. Okay. Um, let's just make sure. Everybody go ahead and try to do it in the chat room right now. Make sure that. Uh... We only have 50 items in our, in our thing. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, this uh, this podcast... Yo, people is... have already found it. They're already looking. Well, all right. They're yeah. making fun of my choice of parrot pillow. <laughs> we did. We have a parrot <laughs> pillow in there. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you... You know, this this podcast is never going to have a Patreon. It's uh, never going to have any ads. Nope. If you have enjoyed the show and you would like to give back in some way, then go ahead and, I don't know. We, we, we bought a lot of dumb, like, we bought a lot of like, you know, like $10 stuff or like like little stuff on, on the registry, including 57 jars of salsa. <laughs> so if you would like to give us a jar of salsa, then uh, that is going to be... Enjoyed in good health, so so please do it. You can definitely tell Salpica how much uh, we love them, and <laughs> wow, you're looking to get free salsa too. There's just we're trying to work this salsa shit on all angles. Just say it's me. Don't say it's they already gave Justin salsa. Yeah, tell them like, how much Ashley Barrymore on her healthy hit show, attic jury more was really into this Salpica. Salsa. Send it to our PO box at one zero eight five three. All right, Oakland. so go ahead and check that out. Also. Uh, again, email us, justinrobertyoung at gmail.com, but jury more on the subject line. You can find this podcast anywhere you find good podcasts. Ashley, where can people find you on the Twitter? Healthy Addict. Healthy Addict pretty much everywhere else. And I Insta, made my Insta, Snap chat. You know what, though? What? I learned, today mm-hmm. I learned. T-I-L. T-I-L, that you can make your Snapchat entirely public. Did you know that? I did. Like, so anybody can see your stuff? Yeah. And send you stuff if you want? Allie just went I totally I know. Public. That's how I learned. And then I Snapchat her back. It was like, yo, girl, how you do this? And then she told me how. Mm. And now now you can creepily watch me without being my friend. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know how I want. I don't know if I want Snapchat. I, I like Snapchat being a little bit of a, of a friend thing. Mm. There's going to be so many weird pictures of you on my Snapchat that's public for everyone you creep shot me a lot on i Snapchat. do oh my god it's the best you creep shot me during night attack you creep uh-huh. shot me during jury uh-huh. you creep shot me while i'm asleep you creep shot me well only if there's a bird on you usually which is every morning <laughs> the only morning that that does not begin with a bird on me is uh when i leave before the birds wake up yeah but um so yeah, Healthy Addict pretty much everywhere. And then you can also find me on uh, YouTube as Healthy Addict and Spice Vegan, which hopefully I'll be making new a new video Spice for Vegan that. this week? I don't know that it's going to be done this week. This week's a busy week. But hopefully I'll have it scripted out and ready for next week. What's that? It's the music. Oh. Uh, all right. So. Uh, fake Gamer Girl on Twitch. Fake Gamer Girl on Twitch. You're streaming. Maybe you're going to stream Hearthstone. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe alone when you're not home mm. or maybe i'll do Justin it when you're home are young on twitter uh snapchat insta gram for the kids gram. uh and until next time lay on the floor floor nation you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> ah! Boodly dee 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 doo. Billy dee dee doo. Ah! So, yes, a parrot pillow. Of course, of course, there's a parrot pillow. That would be something for people if you want to give us suggestions for what we should put on our wedding registry. Because <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's why there's a parrot pillow there. We really need a parrot pillow, guys. <laughs> oh, man. It is hot in here. Can you turn off the uh, thing? Okay. One, two. Oh, it's so hot, guys. The back, the night attack sign. I think it is. There's just a lot of lights. A lot of stuff that's hot. Hot guys. Okay. Whew. Are we still live or no? Yeah. Okay.
Just live in darkness. Just getting a little sexy up in yeah. here. Yeah. Just in time for Hearthstone. <laughs> But we were going to talk more than just about the destruction of our sex life. Well, I, I, I was trying to steer it into other places. You kept going back to the sex life. Oh, I thought you were egging me on for it. Well, I mean, like, it's a, it's a very, it's probably more interesting than other people, like, listening to us talk about Artstone. But, like, I, I thought that's what you wanted to, you kept going back to the sex life. I thing. thought you were steering me back toward it. No, I was not. I was waiting for you to talk about other things about it. Like what? No, I'm listening. See, this is what it is, guys. This is real. Pull up a chair by the hearth. I hate you. What? I'm listening. Yeah. This is why we don't have sex anymore. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a bit. That was a bit. Uh huh. I wasn't really gonna play Hearthstone. Yeah. I wasn't. You you would have if I didn't hit the button. No, I mean I would have for the bit. Yeah. It just, been, just it, it was just for the just bit. Just a one game bit. Though. Just a one game bit. Just one game. Just one. 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 One game. One game. One. That's it. I mean, Plus. I mean, if I won, you know. If, if you won, won, then you need to play another I mean, one. I mean, like, I'm not going to be an asshole and not yeah, play. Yeah, but then, then if you lose, you can't, you can't end on a losing note, right? So, well, I you mean, know, like, you know, you got to go for one more. Well, I mean, you if know. you would have been into it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Hearthstone. I can't believe, wait, do you really think that it's been more damaging than helpful to our relationship? I think it's To our sex now. life. Again, like I'm, I'm trying to go somewhere else, and you're like, you keep steering no, to the it. sex life. Because well, you said relationship. Well, I was joking. I was okay, playing good. that up. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. All right. I thought so. That could change, though. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up here. Hopefully, everybody is having a good time. Um, but yeah, I got to wake up at two in the fucking morning. Yeah. To go I to Nolens. Yeah. Nolens. That is if you go to sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Man, that jury fax, Twitter. <laughs> What's the jury fax? <laughs> Who runs that? I don't know. Probably the best person in the world. <laughs> it's funny. I was listening because now we're... Obsessed with Hearthstone. We were both listening to the Angry Chicken podcast. Yeah. And Joss and, and Dills and Garrett all have like Joss, Dills, and Garrett facts. People do like hashtag. Yeah. Garrett, Joss, and, and uh, Dills facts. They're not as good as Jury Facts. Jury Facts reign supreme. <laughs> do they have Twitter accounts for theirs? No, people just use hashtags. Oh, okay. Uh, mine's major. Jury Facts is like a real fucking Oh, thing. okay. Unlike the other ones. No. Jury Facts is fucking... It's my, it's my favorite minion. That's a 5-4 with taunt. Mmm. Jury Facts! That's what it says. That's, that's really all it says? What's its battle cry? Its battle cry is dropping two facts to adjacent minions after every turn. Oh. Does it have death rattle? The death rattle is... A Photoshop of me doing something stupid <laughs> sent to my Twitter account. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, it's Death Rattle is guaranteed five likes. Um, <laughs> Beef says. Oh, MacBook Pro. I forgot. MacBook Pro's in, in Nolens. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much time. If I have time, it'll be tomorrow. So uh, holler at your boy. I'm staying down at the Harrah's. <laughs> Beef says, this one time I was playing Hearthstone and some girl kept saying she wanted to have sex. I'm not sure if she's into me. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this is real. This is real. Oh, yeah. Hood slam this week. Yeah. You're not going. Yeah, yeah. You said you were out of town. No, I have a game in the office at five. So you're going to miss Hood slam. No. Nope. Hey, guys, I'm just going to keep hitting that. Sorry. If anything, we might have 
we might have to do Encuentro on Thursday instead of Friday and just go right to Hood Slam. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Since it is. We'll see. My birthday. We'll see. I guess it's your birthday. Mm. Um. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, we should probably wrap up. You need to sleep. What time is it? 9.13. Time to go to bed. Time for one good game. Nope. One game. Nope. Together. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's, uh, yeah, we didn't even get into that. I thought we were going to go get into all that. Uh, I mean, I was trying to. You weren't clear. All right. All right. Well, that's a good lesson in communication. For all you kids out there, this is the, this is the high wire act part of Jerry Wire. This is where listen. This podcast might end our marriage before it even starts. If Hearthstone doesn't, I might. I'm gonna blame sweet, I mean, sweet, sweet boy Hearthstone. I mean, look at what it's wearing. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that saucy right, you wench. She's stealing you away from me. You like. <laughs> You like younger women? All shiny in her gold case. Busy night, but there's always room for another. Oh, I'll bet there is. Another one of those wenches. Love you guys. (coughs) 